and the partridge in a pear tree. Season greetings everyone. How was your Christmas holiday? Did you get that big gift that you were hoping for or was it a smaller gift that brought a gleam to your eye? This week we're talking about balance, big and small, especially when it comes to engine size. What'd you think I was gonna say? You have to have balance if you're going to ride a motorcycle. That is, if you want to get anywhere. And because I know how to do that, I've always thought that my life is just a little bit better because I know how to balance and ride a motorcycle. How about you? Lately, I've been applying balance to other areas in my life. It might be able to help me navigate this thing called life. And that's the reason behind this new video series, Balance. Let me ask you a question. Does size matter to you? Have you done an engine upgrade to your bike already? What were your reasons behind doing that? Or if you're thinking about doing a stage two, three, or four kit to your Harley, what are you hoping to get out of it? Are we obsessed with size because we seem to equate that with wealth? Speak softly and carry a big stick. Bigger is better. If you can't run with big dogs, better stay on the porch. Dream big. See the big picture. Go big or go home. In medieval times, being big literally meant that you had more food, which usually meant that you were a little bit higher up in the social status. When I was a kid, there was a show on TV called... That showed off all these beautiful houses filled with opulent furniture that cost in the millions. Even before there were engines, we were striving to be bigger and better and faster. It's the reason why thoroughbred horses came along. What's America's oldest continuous running sport? Horse racing at Churchill Downs. Look it up. Now we've got the AMA, NASCAR, and Grand Prix, and Hill Climb, and TT, and IndyCar, and International Hot Rod Association, and Bagger Nation, and more. Clearly, we are a species that loves to go big and go fast. The first Harley-Davidson V-Twin motor was a mere 45 cubic inch engine. That's barely 737 cc's. That's a big improvement over the one which was about a two horsepower motor with 167 cc's. In comparison, my bike 2018 Heritage Softail Anniversary Edition with 114 cubic inch motor, that is a whopping 1800 cc's. In order to bump up the power of your bike, we go in stages. Stage one is the exhaust, air intake, and a tuner. This needs to be done before any of the other stages and is usually the least expensive when it comes to the other three. I did do this to my bike a few years back. Bassani blacked out staggered full exhaust with Vance & Hines FP3 tuner. Already had the high flow air intake on there so didn't need to change that, left that stock. Not only did it bump up the power but it also made this bike sound a lot better. Stage 2 kit is a stage 1 kit plus cams. Short for camshaft, cams are the little yet mighty parts of your engine that open and close the valves to let the air fuel mixture in and out of the combustion chambers. Stage 3 is stages 1 and 2 plus big bore cylinders and pistons. A piston is a moving disc enclosed in a cylinder which is made gas tight by piston rings. The discs move inside the cylinder as a liquid or gas inside the cylinder expands and contracts. A piston aids in the transformation of heat energy into mechanical work and vice versa. And, of course, the bigger the cylinders and pistons are, the more bang for your buck, literally. Stage 4 adds stages 1, 2, and 3 plus cylinder heads and an increased throttle body. 
Cylinder heads are key to controlling airflow in and out of the cylinders and fuel deployment. The cylinder head also holds the injectors and valves and contains more moving parts than any other part of the engine. Although largely unnoticed, the cylinder head plays a key role in your bike's engine. The throttle body is a butterfly valve located between the air intake filter and the intake manifold. It regulates how much air can go into the engine based on a rider input through the throttle. As more air flows into the engine, it injects more fuel, thus allowing for more power. If you have a train bike with a 114 cubic inch M8 motor, there are a couple of options to bump up your motor's engine size to a whopping 131. That's over 2100 cc's and 120 horses. That's a lot of horses. Back in August, Motorsports Newswire announced that S&S Cycle now offers 129 inch and 132 inch big bore kits for 2017 through 2022 HD Milwaukee 8 engines. From the press release, we love raw, unadulterated thumping. Makes your heart skip a beat kind of power, and that's the very stuff SNS Cycle specializes in. This obsession with power is further proven by their latest efforts for the M8 powered HD models. SNS aren't the only players in the game. Fuel Moto, Zippers Performance offer these kits as well, plus, of course, Harley Davidson. Whichever Stage 4 131 kit you do install on your bike, it will take the performance to the next level. With increased acceleration and improved passing power when compared to stock bikes. That being said, all those horses do not come cheap. All in all, for a Stage 4 kit, you're looking right around four grand. Don't forget the tuner, exhaust, and high capacity oil pump. You're going to need those as well, and they're probably not going to be included in the price. And then there's about another 10 grand in labor, depending on your shop's labor rate. Wow! Is bigger really better? Good things come in small packages. Small, but mighty. Mighty oaks from small acorns grow. Though she is little, she be fierce. Small wins, small project, and small goals often make big differences. Let's go back to those large mansions in the blizzard of 2022 that much of the country, including us, have gone through recently. It made me remember the advice that I gave to a fellow HOG member who was relocating to Fort Drum, or as we call it in military speak, PCSing. He was coming from the south and we were talking about the local real estate. He was asking why in the world the houses are so much smaller up here. Because if you've got a pretty big house, you've got to heat it. Another example in the big versus small is the Bible story of David and Goliath, where the smaller, more nimble David took out the giant Goliath. And of course, anyone who has ever gone camping and has forgotten the bug spray knows that the very small yet mighty mosquito will make for a memorable evening for all the wrong reasons. Small businesses seem to be the preferred employer these days over the large, unfeeling corporate companies with a CEO who's usually out of touch with his workers. More and more customers are buying smaller cars considering the gas prices are going back up. Not to mention the whole tiny home buying trend. Less debt, way more enjoyment. Over the years, manufacturers of engines have invested huge amounts of time and money to make smaller engines more powerful and efficient while adhering to increasingly stringent emissions regulations. These innovations have helped small engines achieve a great blend of performance, fuel economy, and lower exhaust emissions. Today, a car that has a 1 liter engine can be just as powerful as an older car with an engine twice the size. But you'll benefit from lower fuel consumption and decreased emissions from the exhaust. A larger engine burns more fuel with each revolution per minute RPM. It'll usually consume more fuel than a smaller engine would during the same journey. So it's worth 
thinking about how much power you actually need. Motorcycles that have had engine work done can certainly be a lot of fun to ride as they tend to deliver extra power and noise, a key ingredient. The drawback to those bikes though is they also can have issues further on down the road. Case in point is Marvel Kids Lowrider S. To me, going small means living with what I have and realizing that's all I really need. That's the main reason why I stopped at the stage one kit on my bike. 114 cubic inch engine with 119 foot pounds of torque at 3000 RPM sits me back in the seat every time, just fine. What about you? Remember to drop a comment down below and let me know. I am truly interested in what you have to say. Are you running with the big dogs or are you small and mighty? And if you've got balance in your life already, remember to give me a thumbs up Want to learn more about Harley Davidson or just more about motorcycling in general? Check out my website, irishbobsister.com. Click that subscribe button on my YouTube channel and join my Facebook group, Irish Bob's Motorcycle Life. And if you want to be notified when I upload new content on here, then click that bell. For now, though, I am going to take a break. I will see you next time, guys, on January 10th. Some changes coming to the channel in 2023, so be sure and stay tuned for that announcement. Until then, guys and gals, I hope you have a very happy new year. I want you to stay safe, to be kind to one another, especially if they're a little bit unbalanced. Ride when you can and have fun.